Well, good morning, everybody. I'm just coming off my first double zero. Took Saturday and Sunday off. Let my knees feel better, hopefully. They do now. I don't know how long that'll last. They're just achy, you know, in your feet. So it was a good deal. Let uh, let me re-energize myself a little bit. Stayed off my feet most of the time, and uh, didn't really need to resupply. I just needed the downtime. So didn't get got a late start today. I couldn't get my shuttle. Any earlier than 9:30, and I stopped over at a Rite Aid on the way over. So that was a little after 10 before I just now getting started. I do have a big up thousand footer somewhere coming up here, and uh, once I'm up on the ridge line, I should be all right. First toe pick of the day. It didn't take long. So we get from that looking. Even when you look, you still do it. I'm going to try and keep a better mindset. Try. That's all I can do, right? So, yeah, I think a Roush Creek. It's like 11 miles up the trail here. It's doable. Once I get beyond the... Uh, to get up on the ridge line. Thanks for all your comments and well wishes. Um, motivational for me, for sure. Um, so thank you very much for all that. Well, um, <clears throat> a little over three miles into the hike today. This looks like a nice little camping area. Pine needle bed, big old fire pit. But I got about eight miles to go, which is fine. The up wasn't all that bad, I thought. So I think we're just sort of lollipopping along the ridge here now. You know, a little ups, a little downs. The trail hasn't been that bad. I got on at 325 where the trail <clears throat> crosses three, uh, Route 325. I mean, there's a little bit of an up, but it wasn't, didn't seem that bad to me. And I'd be the first one to complain about that. <sighs> and once you're up, it's been, like I said, a little lollipopping. So, pretty satisfied with everything so far today other than 
I'm just getting used to my voice is all dried out again so I they can do about that yeah I could uh going from the uh, trailhead at 325 to Rafa's Creek like 11 Point six or something miles could push now there's this beaver dam thing which I don't want to tackle that till tomorrow beavers apparently wrecked havoc up there and uh, flooded out the trail now it's probably not flooded right now because they haven't had any uh, rain for a while there is a bypass it adds a mile So I don't know. Either way, water is a little bit scarce for about 15 miles after Ralph's Creek. So I'm not doing another 15, so I'm going to pull up because I want to camp near water. So that's the last main water source. So that's the plan for today. I don't know there's going to be any views. I'll show you a little bit of the trail. Mm. Kind of sort of how it's been all day. Uh, you know, a little bit of rocks mixed in there, but nothing major. I figure I got you know, five or six miles to go until I get up to that Rouch Creek <clears throat> area. There's a shelter there and then, uh, a couple of designated tent sites that are near the shelter area, plus the tent sites that are at the uh, shelter area. So you see what We'll see what it looks like when I get up there. All right, if I see anything cool, I'll turn the camera back on later. Well, <clears throat> Yellow Springs Old Coal Mining Village Ruins, circa 1850s. I mean, there's a few rocks. So you gotta go down that way. Which I'm not. I'm going this way. Looks like it'd be a pretty cool camping spot, though. getting better with the black ones. Looks like we got another sign here. Uh, Cold Spring Trail. Parking area. One mile. Hmm. How about we just take this left here and keep going down the Appalachian Trail, which by the way has been, I can't find anything to complain about today, trail wise, which is rare, I know. I'm feeling good today. Very thankful for all the comments 
that everybody made. Um, it was awesome. All right, so this is near Rosh Creek. Water is a slight concern, but I think it'll be fine. I made it through 50 years in Jersey, so can't be that bad. Uh, I don't know what that's there for. Fire pit, we're good. Awesome. So I'm going to set up right over there. And that's Sean. Like I met today. I guess he's going to set up over there. Alright. More later. Show you around camp a little bit. There, of course, you know my tent. Very familiar. And you got a lot of iron or whatever. The, the water's clear, but the, the ground's sort of like... I don't know, gold, yellow. Get the fire going. Cowboy TV. This part of the ranch, ranch, whatever creek feeds down into that down there, where it just was. And there's a shelter down trail a little bit, and this goes, feeds, that's the water source for this shelter. I guess we got a flood zone going on here. I don't know. <laughs> what is it ain't now? It's pretty cool. You can get like a lot of tents in here. You can get up over there. That's it. Everybody have a good night.